What? You want me to say something? (laughs) (laughs) That you got to keep it. (laughs) What? You want me to say something? Cut it. Um, Srinivas is somebody that I've I've always admired a great deal. He's uh, for a start. He doesn't actually quite play a mandolin. He he, people know him as uh, mandolin you Srinivas, but he's actually playing a a kind of smaller version of electric guitar. And it amazed me how he. I mean, it, this is one of the things with Carnatic musicians, is the way they can adapt their technique and their understanding of Indian classical music to really work with something that maybe we might be quite familiar with in the West, like, for instance, Kadri Gopalnath, the way he works with saxophone. But here, Yu Srinivas um, works with, effectively, a very small um, electric guitar, and he actually um, manages to play it in a certain tuning, which is almost like... Um, a sitar type tuning, which is a, a D A D A D D, uh, which gives it a kind of drone effect. But um, but he uh, plays it in a way that actually uses the the, the sliding around the guitar um, to actually pr- reproduce the kind of more cla- more typical classical Indian mean. Uh, the bending of the notes and the way in which the notes slide into each other is a very kind of typical sound of Indian rag. And flavor of Indian rag, and um, and and the way he does this is is completely stunning to watch and to listen to. Uh, technically, I remember going to see him and and seeing people like George Harrison um, at, at one of his concerts, um, just being absolutely mind blown by his technique. And he is one of those people whose genius and and ability and understanding of music almost transcends the limitations of his instrument. Mm. And I think that's something that I I feel you know is. It's very powerful from him. I remember one time, actually, I was working with the Asian music circuit a long time ago, and I, I, I wanted to do this in order to meet him and, uh, and find out about him um, because I was so blown away by his, his technique. And uh, we went into this music shop and we saw all these long-haired guys kind of sitting around being very uh, kind of uh, cocky about their kind of Van Halen guitar techniques and all the rest of it, and they're all showing off to each other. And he walked in in his very humble way, and um, just asked quietly if he could try out this little uh, little practice amp. And uh, this guy almost laughed and kind of said, well, what are you going to stick through it? Because he saw his battered old uh, kind of um, case, guitar case, mandolin case. And he took it out, and it, it, it does look pretty battered up. And, you know, it's not the most um, uh, elegant looking of instruments initially. Um, and he took it out, and he plugged it into this practice amp, and the guy was almost laughing and nudging his mates, kind of winking. And he played one run on this uh, on this instrument. I just saw, saw the whole shop just turn around. It's like everyone's necks just kind of like, you know, it, just everyone spun around and just looked at him in amazement. And after that, you know, the guy couldn't do enough for him. It was just complete respect. 